Was Andrew Jackson, the seventh president of the United States, the most racist president in U.S. history? This is a question that has sparked much debate. His presidency was marked by controversy, particularly his role in the forced removal of Native American tribes and his status as a slave owner. These actions seen through the lens of our modern understanding of racism make him a contentious figure in American history. Hold that thought as we delve deeper into the life of Andrew Jackson. Born on March 15, 1767, Andrew Jackson's early life was marked by hardship and struggle. Andrew was born to Irish immigrants in the backwoods of the Carolinas. Tragedy struck early when he lost both his parents by the tender age of 14, but adversity forged his resilience. He cultivated a rebellious spirit during the Revolutionary War as a young courier, witnessing firsthand the brutality of conflict. Post-war, Jackson moved west to Tennessee, where he began his law career. His boldness and charisma soon made him a popular figure. He was known for his fiery temper and willingness to duel to defend his honor, a characteristic that would follow him throughout his political career. His military prowess was brought to the forefront in the War of 1812. As a major general, Jackson led a successful campaign against the British in the Battle of New Orleans, earning him national recognition and the nickname Old Hickory for his tenacity. His reputation propelled him into the political arena. He served as a U.S. representative, a U.S. senator, and a justice on the Tennessee Supreme Court. But it was his populist appeal that led him to the highest office in the land. In 1828, Jackson was elected the seventh president of the United States, promising to advocate for the common man. Now let's explore the actions and decisions that have made his presidency a subject of intense debate. In 1829, Andrew Jackson assumed the highest office in the land, and it wasn't without controversy. As he stepped into the role of the seventh president of the United States, Jackson carried with him a set of policies and beliefs that would leave an indelible mark on the nation's history. One of the most contentious aspects of his presidency was his stance on Native American tribes and their rights to their ancestral lands. Jackson's presidency saw the signing of the Indian Removal Act in 1830. This act led to what is now known as the Trail of Tears, a forced relocation of Native American tribes from their homelands in the southeastern United States to lands west of the Mississippi River. Thousands of Native Americans were uprooted from their homes, forced to endure immense hardship and suffering with many losing their lives during the grueling journey. This policy was a reflection of Jackson's attitudes towards Native Americans, attitudes that were widely shared during his time. However, in retrospect, many contemporary observers and historians have labeled these actions as deeply racist. But this wasn't the only controversial aspect of Jackson's presidency. He was also a firm supporter of the institution of slavery, a practice that led to the suffering and dehumanization of millions of African Americans. Jackson himself was a slave owner, further solidifying his position on this deeply divisive issue. These controversial policies, along with his attitudes towards race, have led to a great deal of debate about Jackson's legacy. While some admire his strong leadership in populist politics, others condemn his actions and policies as racist and inhumane. So as we reflect on the presidency of Andrew Jackson, we must grapple with the complex and often uncomfortable realities of our nation's history. We must acknowledge the suffering caused by policies like the Indian Removal Act and the institution of slavery, while also understanding the context in which they occurred. As we can see, Andrew Jackson's presidency was marked by policies that many now view as deeply racist. Andrew Jackson died on June 8, 1845, but his actions continue to reverberate through American history. His death marked the end of an era of significant change and turmoil. The legacy he left behind is a complex one, fraught with controversy and debate. On one hand, Jackson is celebrated for his role in the expansion of democracy, his military prowess, and his commitment to the Union. On the other, his policies towards Native Americans and his support for slavery are viewed with disdain. Today, his face graces the $20 bill, a symbol of his lasting impact on the nation. Yet there are calls to replace his image due to his controversial actions and views, the debate about Jackson's legacy mirrors the ongoing conversation about America's past and how it should be remembered. So what do you think? Was Andrew Jackson the most racist president in U.S. history? Comment your thoughts below.